Welcome to Torah Anytime, Tisha B'Av, verse of inspiration. Let's talk about what the Zohar says. The Zohar brings that every day of the year is in accordance with a certain limb of the body, or rather, with a certain sinew of the body. There's 365 sinews in the body, Gidim, and there are 365 days of the year. The Zohar tells us that the sinew of Gid Hanashe is Kenegez, it's accordance of, with the day of Tisha B'Av. They go hand in hand. The sinew of Gid Hanashe is known to be the Gid that the Torah forbids after the fight with Yaakov Avinu and the Malach of Esav, the angel of Esav. They fought together and then at the end the Malach of Esav touched and hurt the Gid Hanashe of Yaakov, and because of that, we're not allowed to eat that Gid Hanashe. The Zohar says, what happened over there? Why is it that Gid Hanashe was restricted? Because Gid Hanashe represents the Yetzel Hara. And therefore, whenever a person falls for the Yetzel Hara, he allows himself, he opens the door, so to speak, for the uh, damaging of the 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 Yetzara to come in and hurt him. And therefore, when we see that a person is hurt in any way, is damaged in any way, something bad happens to him, it's because that door was open wide, a Yetzara was invited, and with that came all the terrible things that go along with it. Now when we think about it, Tisha B'Av represents the Korban of Bet HaMikdash. First of all, it happened on that day, but moreover that it happened on that day, it's, it, it, it's, its fundamental idea of destruction is uh, what Tisha B'Av represents. And therefore, what is the Korban Bet HaMikdash? What is the Bet HaMikdash? Bet HaMikdash is the heart of Am Yisrael is the essence of everything that we look up, up upon, everything that we believe, everything that we want to have. Everything else is just like limbs of the body, but the Beta Mikdash is the actual heart. And therefore, when the actual heart is damaged, that means that the, the total body is dead. With that, we really need to understand that the opening that happened on Tisha B'Av that affected first the Gid Hanashe came and so just like an infection that happens in, in a part of the body sometimes it widens and if not taken care of it could get to very very important limbs of the body like the heart and eventually kill the person. That's what happened in Beta Mikdash HaRishon and Beta Mikdash HaShani and because of that once Beta Mikdash was destroyed not only Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, the entire Eretz Yisrael was uh, destroyed, and also Jewish people were killed by majority and went to exile. Since then, we are trying to revive that destruction that happened to us in Beit HaMikdash. And what the, the Mefarshim say, if you take a look at the Chinuch and of Rav Shem Shubafal Hirsch, they say that really, this destruction also has a hope. Unlike when a heart gets, uh, gets infected and the body dies, that there's not kumai, the person doesn't come up until triata metim, but the person doesn't come up from the dead. So therefore you would think also same thing happened over here. And this is really what the umota olam, the, the goim say about Am Yisrael, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu abandoned them and he sent them to exile, and he never uh, would reclaim them. But the truth is, said the Sefer Chinuch and Rav Shem Shonafal Hirsch, is that by Gidon the idea, we see that it's not like that, because although the Yetzara in Gidon Hashem was if, if infected, and he got into the body, but in the end, Yaakov Avinu came out and became healthy again, although in the beginning he was hurt, on his feet, but afterwards, the next day, he came up on his feet, 
and he was feeling just like he was before he was hurt. And that comes to tell us that there is a hope to that, to that destruction of Beit HaMikdash. But the idea that we learned over here is that a person becomes weak and vulnerable when he opens the door to the Yetzara, and especially at that place that he allowed the Yetzara to come in. This we found in many places. Let's just mention what happened with Amalek. Amalek, it says over there, what did he do? He went after Hanecheshalim Hacharecha, which means what's Nechashalim? Chalashim, the weak. He went after the weak. What kind of weakness did they have? Was it a physical weakness? Rashi tells us that they were uh, weak in spirituality. They were not connected with Akadosh Baruch Hu. They were sinning. And th- therefore, because of that, the cloud, the Amuda Anan, the glory cloud, pushed them out. They weren't able to go and benefit from the protection of the glory cloud. And therefore, they were out, and Amalek was able to reach out to them because that's Aram, Alek, all these people, the evil enemies of, of the Jewish people always look for easy target. And therefore, when they're not protected, the, the, the cloud doesn't protect them, they went and attacked Am Israel. So therefore, when we take a look in our terrible uh, events that happen throughout the year, we see that the enemies of Klal Israel went to attack. But who did they attack? It, it seems like they attacked everybody. Men, women, children, elderly. They just attacked everybody. That shows that something here is extremely problematic, extremely rotten in Klal Israel that allowed not only part of Klal Israel or some of Klal Israel get hurt, but all circles from every community and every age and every gender be, uh, be killed or be brutally um, terrorized or uh, tortured or whatever it is. All these things show us that something is very, very rotten. And this is something that we need to understand in one hand that we learned from that Zohar about Gida Nashe. But on the other hand, we also learned from there, as we explained, that although it's rotten, and right now we are trying to survive such a harsh, harsh year. But we need to know that if we fix that and we find the correct remedy of coming back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, eventually there is hope that HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes us from that, that, that bottom of the bottom and picks us up, or pick, pick us up all the way to the top and saves us. That's just something to keep in mind on this Tisha B'Av.